Well, my name is Matt Forsey. I'm, I'm from Ohio. Um, basically, I'm here traveling just to travel coast to coast. Not really by choice, but eh, I make the best of it and have fun. Well, what do you mean, not by choice? Um, my life fell apart and I had nothing, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Uh, I lost my job, lost my house, uh, my baby's mom. And basically, everybody told me to leave. And I ended up in Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, back to Ohio, Florida, back to Ohio, and then Tennessee and Ohio, then out here. I've been in 46 states right at the moment. Like, I'm only missing Alaska, Maine, Hawaii, and Washington. <laughs> well, it sounds like an adventure. I mean, it sounds like there are a lot of people who would be, you know, I mean, except for the start of this adventure, would be happy to go on such a journey, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's definitely been one hell of an experience. Like, uh, I popped trains. Uh, that I dislocated my, my shoulder, like, about six months in. Uh, so I stopped hopping trains, take buses every now and then. I hitchhike. Hitchhiking's fun. Hitchhiking gets you into some shit at times. Like, you'll be like, all of a sudden you get picked up by the craziest person that you can imagine. Like, he's all methed out. Like, oh, God, no. Like, going 90 miles an hour down the freeway. Like, you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Just, <laughs> you pull over here. You know, I've had cops pick me up and give me a ride as far as the, their county or whatnot. And like, don't walk on the highway but i'm dropping you off right here on the highway <laughs> Wait, hopping trains like hobo style like yeah. that happens are there a lot of people doing that today uh yeah there's still a lot but i mean you're not really supposed to talk about like the too much of the i guess the lifestyle of it because you get in trouble with the uh, other hobos and if i hop don't want to get beat up too bad so there's some secrets to it to how you get away that you can't reveal for youtube here oh uh, yeah there's there's ways to find online like schedules and ways to do it and like connects but you just have to know what to search for so why vegas now uh i was in la down at skid row and uh, my best friend's like a belitherent drunk that's happy all the time so i was like let's go to vegas <laughs> and uh we just got a bus a uh, mexican like bus line for 25 dollars a piece and came out here i mean i've never been here i love it like it's crazy it, like it <laughs> the city's huge like all the buildings like it's amazing I, like that fountain down there was pretty cool so you mentioned earlier you did some jail time as well can you tell us about that yeah basically i got arrested in ohio for panhandling and the funny thing is about that like i unfolded <laughs> my sign cop pulls up and i make zero dollars like i didn't make a dime and i went to jail and my charge was panhandling it was like, why can't you afford nothing on commissary, like a soup or anything? Like, why are you broke? I'm like, I unfolded my sign and the cop pulled up. Like, I don't even think I should be able to get panhandling. Like, I was holding a cardboard sign. Like, like that's all I did. <laughs> I didn't even get that. So, like, before. being broke is a crime in the United States? Yeah, de oh, definitely. Uh, carrying a backpack also, it makes you invisible, like, to 95% of normal people. But there's a whole community of, like, dirty kids and hippies and travelers that... I mean, they take care of you. They look out for each other. Have you ever gone to jail for the sake of avoiding hardship? Like, th that it'd be easier to live off the taxpayers than live on the street? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Like, uh, I had good jobs. Uh, I can make just as much panhandling, but, like, the cops, I got so many misdemeanors. I, if I go to court for a misdemeanor, I do, like, a year to two years in county for it. I'd rather catch a felony, honestly, and uh, because I'd get out on bond. Like, they're nice with me there. <laughs> Like, and I don't understand that, and it's like... If it made sense, it wouldn't be government. Yeah, it's like, uh, I've been to jail for being sober, and they said I was high. I mean, I, I, I literally woke up, and I was brushing my teeth, and they took me to jail. They said I had a film on my tongue. It's like, I, I, you took the toothbrush out of my fucking mouth? Like, <laughs> well, well, let me ask about how you started this adventure. You said you lost your job. What was it, and, and, and how, how else did this, this hardship come about? Well, it's like uh, I worked at a uh, food processing uh, uh, food processing plant uh, out in Sharonville, Ohio, and I got fired because my best friend was a like a big drug like seller, and basically he was high on uh, permethazine. And I went to his house to drop my car off before work because he was going to use my car, and he ended up pistol whipping me. And I went to the hospital and I got fired. And then baby mama broke up with me and. 
sister kicked me out. I had nowhere to go, and abandoned houses get cold in Ohio. <laughs> so, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, how would you describe yourself now? Like, I, I, I use the word hobo, and that's generally very negative, but I think it's. So it has some positive connotations now. Uh, you used a couple terms, like, yeah, I, how would you describe your situation in life? How would you describe yourself, you know, your outlook, what you're doing, and, and, and your plans? And what terms would you use? Uh, there's no rock bottom in, like, on the planet I live. Like, we live in the middle of space. Like, you dig halfway through the planet, why climb up a big, long hole that's going to take forever and it's going to be hard? If you keep digging, it's going to be easier. And then you just have to find out how to be happy in, like, China. Like, it's a different way of adopting a lifestyle. Like, basically accepting with what you got and be happy with it no matter what the consequence. That's a beautiful attitude. Well, we have a term for yourself? Uh, Vagabond? Well, I say humbum all the time. Like, what? a humbum. A humbum? Yeah, there's a, another term called homebum that's close, and everybody thinks I'm calling homebum. That's like a person that grew up in the area and homeless in the area. I'm a humbum. It's like a pirate punk rocker, uh, <laughs> dirty kid. Like, I mean, I went like six months without a shower, and I didn't smell, and I was proud of myself on that. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, thanks so much for sharing your story. That's a beautiful attitude. I caught you here on the strip in Vegas. You were drawing something, right? What are you, are you working on something? Yeah, I've been out really had nothing done right i was drawing a mushroom i draw a lot of mushrooms but i'm working on a comic book right now you like mushrooms yeah i like drawing them like me too i don't know <laughs> i like eating them more than drawing them yeah like but that, that that's actually not the reason why i draw them like uh i take pictures of them uh, i do photography i do sculpturing uh drawing it's just hollywood and la was a bitch and i got all my stuff stolen like so i'm starting over like fresh i got like five drawings <laughs> You said you're working on a comic book? Yeah, it's like a, basically a, in San Diego, the homeless gets categorized depending on what part of San Diego they live in, what the like yuppies and like the, like hill people call them. So like you got trolls and uh, zombies, uh, goblins. Like we, so basically, I'm making all the like characters like a little band of homeless people that just have like little weird superpowers and. <laughs> right, so if people want to get in touch with you, you got any presence online? Any way people could find you? Yeah, it's uh, Matt Forsty at Facebook, uh, just M-A-T-T-F-O-R-S-T-E. Awesome. Anything else you want to say to share this uh, beautiful attitude that you've embraced in the course of your recent adventures with our audience? Yeah, I guess uh, I could say if you travel, I mean, you should travel at least once. Try it without money, like go coast to coast on a piece of toast. I mean, it's pretty fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate your time today. That's beautiful. This is Adam Kokesh. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and support this production by going to patreon.com slash adamkokesh.